Emperor is an interactive experience in virtual reality, a poetic journey into the mind of a man suffering from a neurological disorder called aphasia, a language and communication disorder due to brain damage, often accompanied by partial paralysis of the body. This experience is inspired by the true story of Marion and her father. Il y a une douzaine d'années, mon père a, a fait un grave AVC et il est devenu hémiplégique et aphasique. Et j'avais besoin de creuser et de comprendre comment il euh, essayait de retrouver les mots. Very early on, we realized that VR would probably be the most suited medium for this project because it seems to be the best way to plunge directly inside someone's mind. When I first read the project, I was deeply moved by the intimate and poetic aspect of the story. During the production, we tried to keep this emotion at every stage. For Marion and Ilan, directing a VR experience was a first. And I think this is one of the reasons why Emperor offers such a unique experience, especially when it comes to interactivity, which is so different from the majority of other VR pieces we produce at Atlas V. Le personnage qu'on incarne, c'est le père. Il va être guidé tout au long de l'expérience par la fille. So as a user, we start out seated with a limited set of available actions, but as we fall deeper into the father's subconscious, we are invited to stand up and discover a widening spectrum of interactive options, echoing the father's inner freedom. From the very beginning, the creators wanted to break away from usual, very realistic 3D design and adopt a much more organic and drawn approach. C'était aussi le sujet du projet, c'était de ne pas être dans quelque chose de trop lisse, mais de quelque chose d'un peu poreux, de peut-être dessiner à la main et, et d'avoir tout ce, ce côté imperfection, comme la voix de mon père qui n'est pas exactement au bon endroit, etc. D'avoir la possibilité d'avoir quelque chose qui soit un peu vivant. But of course, we also had to deal with a, a three-dimensional character. And for that, we wanted to work with an actress and, and have a very lived-in body. So we use motion capture. We had the pleasure of working with Olivia Cook, who um, we chose for a number of reasons, mostly because it was going to be a, a vocal only performance. We wanted to make sure that it was a voice that you felt like you wanted to, to sit with for a long time. The sound and musical design of the experience was a major concern for Elan and Marie, who brought a very special intensity to the whole soundtrack of the piece. We really wanted to have as many sound effects created from instruments to keep everything musical. And so we would uh, often have our cellist try to replicate certain sounds with the cello. Et c'est très touchant de voir des gens euh, être touchés par quelque chose qui me semblait très personnel et qui devient euh, universel. Euh, 